All right, first pie guy here. Just wanted to give another update on this uh, outdoor enclosure box I have set up for my uh, raspberry pies. Um, <clears throat> I changed some things around here. So we'll start with the 12 volt uh, power supply here. It's a 12 volt 30 amp, but a little overkill, but don't hurt. <clears throat> uh, and here I am running four 12 volt to 5 volt 5 amp uh, converters to power my pies. So each one of them powers a pie. I guess you could possibly get away with running two on one. I, I am currently doing that now with no problem. Uh, this guy here is a 12 volt to uh, negative 48 volt converter to run the uh, this fan right here. Then I have a 32 dB uh, 12 volt LNA that's hooked up to this pie over here running RTL FM so here I have a USB Wi-Fi adapter an alpha adapter that supports a uh, monitor mode hooked up to this Raspberry Pi 3 B plus here running uh, Kelly Linux and it's hooked up to an external antenna but not at the moment um, out of this Pi that's hooked up to an outside antenna I have it plugged into an RTL SDR dongle as you can see this Pi here is running this is a Raspberry Pi 3 running the program called NetTemp that I have my uh, sensors and stuff hooked to it for indoor outdoor uh, temperature humidity and stuff then uh, this USB sound card is hooked into the Pi which is hooked up to this radio right here which is hooked up to an external antenna outside and it receives audio to feed uh, broadcastively <clears throat> this guy down here does the same thing it feeds audio to broadcastity for uh, for two different things uh, this one, one's hooked up to this with this uh, sound card and the other one is hooked up to this guy for uh, air traffic control. <clears throat> the FePi audio cards are pretty nice. They got a lot of features, a lot of things you can do with them. So, to power these uh, Bofung uh, radios, I have the 12 volt adapter hooked up to them. So I just have a cigarette plug here with a, uh, a two port uh, adapter, cigarette lighter adapter, so I can power both of these. So, then I have it all coming back to this cluster and uh, it works out all right, no problems. I mean, I'm, I know I got lost, but it's, uh, I don't have no issues. So, and everything's hooked up to a two meter antenna and it seems to work out really well. So, that's that. These two fans are hooked up to this guy here, which is reading in Celsius. And that's a 12 volt thermostat. You can pick them up for like five bucks, which works out really nice. You can set it for heat or cool. So, and if you hold the uh, 
I put my finger on the thing here as you can see how fast it goes up and right there the fans come on and they just kind of help blow some air over the pies a little bit and then this fan here will automatically come on when it gets hot enough and uh, if it gets real hot it'll automatically open these uh, we'll open them up to uh, get air from outside <clears throat> down here I'm using a my fuse holder so everything is fused that I have hooked up to it so except for the cigarette lighter which that's fused and them two are fused individually so we're good there this power switch panel here this switch controls my LNA then these to control my pies. I can turn two of them off at a time. Then this one controls the 48 volt fan, which in the winter time, I just shut that switch off so that thing ain't running all winter for no reason. As you can see there, there that is a box for uh, my 12 volt LED strip with the remote and I ran LED strip the whole way around the box to give me light when I need it as you can see it's on there so I can change it if I want but it really works out well for nighttime so but uh, then I have everything hooked up. My Ethernet's hooked up to a five port giga, gigabit uh, uh, switch. So nothing's on Wi Fi or anything like that. So it works out really well. And the nice thing about this switch, it powers, you can power it with five volts. So it works out really well. <clears throat> but uh, there you go and uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another video